If you own the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount and have trouble balancing the RA and deck axis because they're too tight, then this presentation is for you. I cover the adjustment procedures plus the manufacture of a simple tool to assist with this. At the end of the video, I will present my image of M13, the great globular cluster in Hercules, taken using my Altair H183M Pro and modified Skywatcher 200P Newtonian on the EQ6R Pro after making these adjustments. My name is Paul and you are watching Moya's Astro. The Skywatcher EQ6R Pro Equatorial Telescope Mount is an often recommended entry level mount. It's capable of delivering excellent results but often requires tweaking in order to attain this performance. One of the problems often found is that the RA and deck axis bearings are too stiff as delivered from the factory. This creates difficulties in balancing the scope on the mount and so leads to guiding problems. There are a number of good videos on YouTube dealing with this procedure, such as those by Donstronomy and Astro Adventures. Links in the description below. In essence, the object is to tune the axis locking collars such that the mount is easy to balance, yet not so slack that play is introduced. The problem I found was that the RA adjustment collar was way too tight to adjust with a strap wrench or adjustable grips, so I decided to make a simple tool to make the job easier. In this presentation I illustrate how to construct an effective RA adjustment tool and briefly cover the adjustment procedure. I cut a 300mm length of 25x4mm steel bar from an off-cut ad line around. This should be available from most large hardware stores. The corners were rounded off with a file and centres marked exactly 2 inches apart with one positioned a half inch from the end of the bar. The positions of the hole were marked with a centre pop. 2mm pilot holes were carefully drilled and enlarged to 3.5mm. The holes were then threaded with a 4mm tap using copper grease as a lubricant. M4 by 10mm steel bolts were fitted to the holes to form prongs which will engage in the holes in the RA adjustment collar. Avoid longer bolts which will bend or shear off in use. After cleaning and degreasing the tool was finished off with matte black acrylic spray paint. For the RA axis adjustment the poloscope cover is removed first. The poloscope is unscrewed and set aside in a safe place. Slacken the two grub screws shown with a 2mm hex wrench. Five turns should be enough and remove the silver poloscope bezel ring. Slacken the four grub screws in the RA collar with a 2mm hex wrench, about four turns. Important, ensure that the RA and deck clutches are slackened to prevent damage to the worm and pinion teeth before carrying out the next steps. Use the tool to engage with the holes in the RA collar. Undo while supporting the mount head. Adjust to give free movement of the axis without any play being present. Secure the four grub screws in the RA adjustment collar. Refit the poloscope and silver poloscope bezel ring. Secure with the two grub screws such that the white marker line on the poloscope aligns with the black marker on the silver bezel ring. Replace the poloscope cover. Position the mount back to the home position, tighten the clutches and you're done. Hope you found this video useful. If so, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for future Astro related content. I will leave you with an image of M13, the great globular cluster in Hercules, taken with my Alta H183M Pro and modified 200p Newtonian on my EQ6R Pro following the adjustments outlined in this video. Thank you for watching and clear skies.